joy or happiness? If given the choice, which would you choose? Before you answer that, let's talk about the differences between the two. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Joy and happiness are good feelings to experience. Though they may seem so similar, they're quite different. But who doesn't want to be happy? It makes you feel good, puts a smile on your face, a pep in your step, it changes your whole being. You can even pretend to be happy when you're not. But happiness is more of a short-term or short-lived gratification that is dependent on something or someone else. It requires some, something positive happening in your life. Happiness is more future-oriented. If I get this or if this happens, I'd be happy. It is driven by circumstances. But joy, joy on the other hand, is more internal. It is a state of mind, a decision. Joy is an attitude of the heart and the spirit present inside of you. Joy is one of the nine fruit of the spirit Paul mentions in Galatians 5, verse 22 and 23. It does not stand alone. It collaborates with peace, long-suffering, and even faith. It is possible to feel joy in times of difficulty. Joy does not need a smile to exist, although it does feel better with one. Joy can share, in, joy can share its space with other emotions, sadness, shame, or even anger. Happiness cannot. One definition of joy in the Greek language is calm delight. Happiness it's not present in darkness or in difficulty. Joy never leaves it. Joy undergirds our spirit. It brings to life peace and contentment. Ezra, a priest in Nehemiah 8, spoke to the children of Israel after they had restored the temple. He said, go your way, eat the fat and drink the sweet and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto the Lord, neither be sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Not your joy, not my joy, but it is the joy of the Lord that is your strength. Friends, I have made my choice. And you know what? I choose joy. Why? Because while happiness is an instant gratification and it makes you feel good in the moment, it is short-lived. Here one minute, gone the next. It is very uncertain and has no leg to stand on. But joy, joy has a foundation. And that foundation is found in my relationship with God. Joy has the ability to experience peace and contentment day in and day out, regardless of my circumstances. Romans 14 verse 17 says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and the joy in the Holy Ghost. Friends, I want to encourage you, get to know God in a new way. Allow Him to give you joy in your life because in him is where the true foundation lies. I am Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thoughts.